guys so I am back with another video and today I'm going to be doing a video on this makeup look um, I just want to touch on a few things before I happen to the video everything that I used in the video I will show you um, I will have left down in the description box so you guys can check it out so I'm gonna be showing you guys this brush here this is from Michael Todd this is the sonic makeup brush um, I, I actually really really like it I used it to apply my foundation um, so you will see this in action so I did want to mention this in the beginning of the video I also tried out a new foundation which I kind of like or I'm kind of liking um, it's not as full coverage as some of my other foundations um, that I've used in the past, but stay tuned through the video to see what foundation that is. Um, but I kind of like it. It's kind of like a good everyday kind of foundation. It's not like if I'm going out, I'm not wearing this particular one. Um, I'm holding it in my hand, but you guys will see it in the video. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Oh, real quick, these earrings are also going to be part of my line as well that will be coming out very soon so stay tuned for that um but these earrings will be for sale as well once i get my website up and running um so yeah that's it i also oh before i leave i did give you two lip options i used two different lips for this i used one from black radiance and i used one from lime crime the one on my lips now is from lime crime and then the other one is from black radiance which you guys will see in the video as well and i will see you guys next time bye hey guys so i'm starting off with this urban decay primer in eden and i'm just that applying it to my eyelids just so i have a nice bright base for when i apply my shadows Next, I'm going to go in with my powder. This is going to be from the Masquerade Palette by Juvia's Place. And I'm going to go in with the shade Burkina. And I'm just going to blend that into my crease in my transition. And then I'm going to go in with this next shade. It's called Chi from that same palette. And I'm going to apply that to my lid. Um, I wanted this look to be very simple as usual. So I wasn't really sure what look I was kind of going for. But I kind of really liked this kind of I don't know in the palette it looked um, kind of like a blue but it ended up coming off very very purple um, which originally wasn't the look I was going for but it worked out just fine and blend out those edges just so there's no harsh lines and a smooth transition. Now I'm going to go in with the next shade which is Zulu and I'm just going to apply that as well just to give my eyes a little bit more depth. Depth, I should say, sorry. This next shade I'm going into, it was the green shade from the Masquerade palette. Again, it was the color Molly, and I just used that in my inner tear duct. And I'm just going to go in with my Iris um, liquid liner, and I'll have a link for this down below, as well as a coupon code for this liner. I love it. Um, it's the same site that I got my contacts from, so I will have a link for that as well with the coupon code down in the description box so you guys can check it out. And then I'm going to go in with my CoverGirl Amplify Primer and I just apply that to my eyes and I will then apply my, I believe I applied my actual mascara off camera. I'm going in with this Black Radiance Color Corrector. It's like the salmon one. It's a little bit lighter than the orange corrector. And I wanted to try it but I wasn't feeling it too much so I do end up going in with the darker one.
So next I'm gonna go over with my foundation. I'm gonna go in with the CoverGirl Matte Made, True Blend Matte Made Foundation in D40. Um, and then I'm gonna go in with my Sonic Brush that I showed you guys earlier in the video. And I'm gonna be using that to apply my foundation. As you can tell, I was super excited to try it. Um, the color of this CoverGirl foundation was pretty good. I felt it was like a little too something. Like I felt like I looked a little did. I felt like I needed a little warmth um, when I use this so I've used it a couple more times since then and I just added a little bit of the warmth from my foundation adjusters and that seemed to help I wasn't as impressed as everyone else was when this foundation came out like I, I thought I was gonna be like oh yes and I was just like eh, it's all right I mean it's good for a drugstore foundation I guess but, I mean, compared to my Maybelline Matte Primed and Poreless, like, not Primed and Poreless, what is that? The Maybelline Fit Me, I'm, I'm still, it's, I don't feel like it's better than that. Anyway, next I'm going to go in with the Maybelline Aged Rewind um, Concealer. I believe this shade is tan, I think. I don't know, but I will have it listed down below, but I think it's tan. black radiance oh uh, black opal finishing powder and medium to set those high points that I applied that obviously I was going for like a super beat on so that's why I'm actually gonna bake for a little bit then I'm gonna go on with my black opal finishing powder in dark don't worry guys I got some new powders I'm gonna be trying out soon and I love this brush oh my gosh from Moda. I love this brush to blend out my powders. I love, love, love this brush. I will have a link down below for the Royal Atlantical brushes. This is, I believe, I think either the Mystical collection that this brush is, but this brush is bomb. Like, the bomb, literally. Like, love this brush. It's super soft. black radiance contour palette and I'm just going to contour my jawline my cheeks there again using some brushes from Rolling Lanico and then I'm going to apply my brush with a stippling brush I don't remember what blush I used but I will try to have it down in the description and I went in with this black radiance kind of highlighter thing I ended up not really liking it like I was souped about it when I bought it, but I feel like it would be better as an eyeshadow. It's kind of like one of those multi-purpose kind of powders. Um, and then this is the first lip option, which was kind of the lip that matched the um, little highlight that I used. And I just, oh, I felt like dead a little bit. So I was feeling it, but not on this look. So then I ended up going in and changing the lip yeah, yeah, see, I'm wiping it off. Got my makeup wipe, wipe it off. And then I'm gonna go in, I believe this is, do, 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 do. I know this is one of the ColourPop lippy pencils. I don't remember what it is, but I will have it on the screen as well as down in the description box. Um, and I'm just gonna use that first just to line my lips. liquid lipstick from Lime Prime. Again, I don't remember the name, but I will have it on the screen as well as down in the description box. But I love this color, especially over top this lip liner. It was super pretty. Love the shade. I know I know we're fall. We're in fall, but 
this was actually filmed like towards the tail end of the summer, so don't judge me. And that is pretty much it for the looks, guys. So if you like this video and you like makeup tutorials, natural hair videos, definitely subscribe to my channel. I really, really appreciate it. Don't forget to thumbs up and comment down below if you guys have any questions, suggestions. Thank you so much for stopping in and checking out my channel. And until the next video, bye.